Hi, I am Yeti of yetiskitchen.com. Actually, scratch that. I am Chef Yeti of yetiskitchen.com and you're welcome to African Vegan. My first recipe book and it's going to be one of the first of many, I would say. So I started off my vegan journey actually by mistake. It was early January, I think probably 2020, it was early January. And I said to myself, why not start off the new year on a clean slate? And that's why I decided to sit down and put together a set of recipes that I thought would suit my palate. As you can imagine, what does vegan have to do with it being African? It has everything to do with it because most of the recipe books and most of the recipes that I found were pretty much bland. And there's something about a foodie. I am very much foodie. If a food doesn't taste right, I'm going to be binging on whatever. So that's why most of the times diet don't work with me. You can put me on any diet. You can put me on any keto diet or whatever diets you want to put me on. But you can be guaranteed that if it's not tasty, I will be binging on something else that I need to taste. So the trade-off for me was if I was going to be vegan, whatever I'm eating has to have a lot of taste, be nutritious to my body and also help me lose weight. So I'm not guaranteeing that this recipe book would help you lose weight, but it would help you feel better at the end of the day in terms of giving back to the planet and giving back to your body. So this is why I put together this recipe book just for you. It has most of the recipes that I went through when I was vegan. And of course, when I decided to try everybody else's recipe, I only lasted three days on the vegan journey and I went back to eating meat. But then I had to put together some spice because a lot of spice, not, I don't mean chilies. I mean spice in terms of a bit of curry, a bit of thyme, a bit of bay leaves, just a bit of life in your food. So being vegan doesn't have to be boring. And that's exactly why I put together this, this recipe book. So you can be guaranteed that you try out the recipes in there. Most of them are African. Some of them have been borrowed recipes that I've learned along the way and I've sh- kind of made it my own thing so go through the recipe book we have things like bean cake in there which is also known as moi moi in nigeria we have things like pap in there we have my favorite jollof burrito the fact that you're vegan doesn't mean you can have a lavish life the fact that you're vegan doesn't mean you can't enjoy your meals so i've got jollof burrito in there i have my favorite plantain bruschetta you can vegan and have cheese but not that kind of cheese. You need to get into the recipe book to know what kind of cheese I'm referring to. So we have the jollof burrito in there. We have my jollof combo, which includes dumplings, famously known in Nigeria as puff puff. So a lot of the stuff that we eat in Nigeria is actually healthy, is actually vegan, but because we kill it with the palm oil and we kill it with all those extra things that we do add, then it becomes unhealthy. But trust me, go through this recipe book. It's only a tenner. A 10 pounds, 10 pounds, if you don't know what a tenner is. <laughs> if you're from Nigeria, you probably wouldn't know what a tenner is. It's only 10 pounds for the month of April 2021. And after that, it goes back to full price. You can get it on Amazon. But for now, in the month of April, you can only find it on my website, www.yetiskitchen.com.